So this is a dairy farm and we only have dairy cows. So how is it that we have a beef calf? A black Angus beef calf. There's another one right here. We can do better and I'm gonna make it happen. So this calf was born this morning. He's a, a male Angus calf crossed with one of our, our uh, Holstein cows. And typically what we do is he'll be about a week old and then we'll sell him to uh, another farmer who'll raise him as veal. So you got a long row here of heifers eating their grain right now. Most of them are Holsteins, they're all black and white. But if you take a closer look, some of these guys are completely black and pretty stocky. And those are our Angus crosses. They're all, all the Angus is our male. The rest of the whole scenes are all female. And in this age group, we got 10 of the Angus crosses that we kept this past year. And the year before we kept two. So there's technology available now that can sort semen into male semen and female semen. So what we do is we take our top cows, our best cows, our best genetics, and breed them to Holstein heifer calves. And then our lower end, our poorer genetics, we breed to male Angus. And it's a bit of an investment. Sex semen is quite a bit more expensive. But basically we're doing that to basically improve the genetics in our herd much quicker than it normally would. So these are our two steers. That's Norman, this is Ferdinand. Always try to treat them fairly similar, but they're a pretty good example of how cows and bulls and steers all have their own personality. Ferdinand is very lovey-dovey and very trusting. And then Norman, on the other hand, much less trusting. Kind of hides here behind the gate a little bit. It's also much quicker to get aggressive. So what I'm trying to do is slowly build a brand that's centered around maximizing animal welfare and basically doing everything you can to give them a life worth living. Which is why I started with two. And then uh, if that goes well, then we'll have 10 more. And the goal is eventually keep all of our calves because to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of selling our calves reveal especially when the goal is to maximize, maximize their quality of life. And that's because I can't really say that the animal has the best quality of life if they only live to be about seven or nine months old, raises veal. So instead what I plan to do is raise them as steers, put them on their own pastures so they'll be about two years old, which is uh, when they reach their like, mature size and their mature age. And then uh, if that goes well, then eventually, hopefully, I'll be able to keep all of our bulls and have none of them go out of this veal. So this calf right here is actually one of the ones that I left with their moms back in the summer. 
is basically just stay in the fresh cow pen while the mom's going through the robots and then the cows will drink with whatever is left over. Turned out pretty good. I'll make a link in the description down below of that video. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos as we try to find ways to improve animal welfare.